Erika, and I'm coming to you guys with celebrity news. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about Chris Brown and the Rihanna incident that occurred back in February of 2009. So with that being said, let's get right into the story. As you guys know, last week Chris Brown came out and he basically told the story of what actually transpired back in February of 2009 or the events leading up to what transpired. So I'm going to tell you guys the story and then as you guys know, I'm going to go right into what my opinion is, okay? So with this story, there was the award, an award ceremony. I don't want to say the name because I have some critics out there that will correct me. So I'm just going to say the awards. And they... They, I guess they were sitting at a table and a girl that Chris Brown actually had cheated on Rihanna with was there and she approached their table. So once the award ceremony was over, Chris Brown and Rihanna, they got into his car and while they were driving, Chris, I guess Rihanna saw his phone, saw text messages from the same girl they had just encountered. So, with that being said, Rihanna got upset. Her and Chris Brown were arguing back and forth, you know, just going at it. And uh, Rihanna attempted to kick Chris Brown. Chris Brown responded with a closed fist, and he hit Rihanna in her face. Rihanna then, you know, I guess she tasted blood in her mouth, and she spit on him. And I guess he felt... He felt that he had the sensation of blood in his mouth. And he just started wilding out on her. And if you guys don't know what wilding out is, it means that he started to attack Rihanna. He did a lot of things. And as you guys know, the photo is circulating around on the internet. I can't put the photo up here because then this won't be considered original content. And I wouldn't. So he ended up hitting her and... Now that story made headlines back in 2009, and now it's making headlines again back in 2000, back now in 2017. So, I'm going to get straight to the point, because this story, I wasn't even going to talk about it, but I'm just going to get straight into it. Like, there is no sugar coating. In my opinion, I feel, well first I'm going to tell you guys a story. Yep, I like story times. This is a story time slash celebrity news. Back in... 2010 I want to say or 2011 my mom had called me and told me that she saw Chris Brown being ex escorted by our sheriff's department where they had a lot of cops you know trans uh, escorting him to the arena he was supposed to perform in South Florida and he was being escorted now I had Twitter at the time I was new to Twitter you know didn't know much about it and I went on Twitter and I was and I went under his thing and I tagged him in it. I knew how to tag people. <laughs> and he responded by saying, Oh, another groupie or another per another person trying to get their 15 minutes of fame. Here's your 15 minutes. Mind you, I wasn't even doing that to be rude or disrespectful, but Chris Brown is a very aggressive person, and instead of him thinking about what's being said, he automatically responds. So he responded to that, and I responded back, and I'm just like, wait a minute. First and foremost, I am a mother. Um, you're not going to disrespect me like that, because he was going in. Like, he was really upset. Well, I'm going to have my attorneys deal with this person, blah, blah, blah. Okay. He was just going in. So I blocked, I basically deleted my Twitter account, because I'm just like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I know I didn't have to delete my Twitter account, but I knew I was not being messy, so to speak. I knew that I was just, you know, stating what my mom said she saw, that she saw his bus going, being escorted, not in a bad way, you know, just, we saw your bus. If you're not here in Florida, then okay, who cares? But he was going in. So I'm just like, you know what? No, I don't like him anymore. I'm not a fan. Even when him and Rihanna did have that situation that transpired back in 2009, I still was supporting him. I was still listening to his music, still doing all of that. But when that happened, I was just like, you know what? Forget Chris Brown. You know, he's not he's not even on my level of, for me to get upset. Okay, and I'm using all my hands because it just reminds me that I just... You know, so this video may be unbiased, but I don't care. You know, I just don't care. 
So I so with that incident happening, and then there was another incident with Chris Brown, not with me, not with me, another incident in Miami where he took this woman's phone because she was trying to take a picture of him while he was walking out of a club. He took her phone and would not get a woman her phone back, drove off with the lady phone, okay? Then she got an attorney. Finally, he gave her the phone back. He was about to face charges for her stealing, um, and he gave her the phone back. Then recently in the news, he was in the news for, um, I tried so hard not to say um in this video, but it happened. So he was in the news for, if I'm not mistaken, aggravated assault on this woman. Again, another woman. You, you see all this with women? So he had another situation with another woman. So it, that ended up, you know, where he, I think he did time. I'm not sure he got in trouble. I'm not sure what happened with that. Don't really care because that's not the point of this whole video. But my intent, my outlook on this, my input, is that Chris Brown, he's too old to be acting like this, okay? And at this point, I don't care how much money he thinks he has. You are, you need to really step back and take some anger management classes and reevaluate yourself as a person. Because... People in Hollywood or in the music industry may like you. In reality, America does not like you. You are a very, you have a very, you're very aggressive. You, for some reason, there's something with you and women where you cannot be around women without spazzing out. So, and I feel like with this whole Rihanna thing, I just feel like, why did he reopen the womb? of what happened back in February of 2009. That was eight years ago. Why would you reopen that room? That's my whole input because I just feel like it, it why re, why do we have to relive that whole incident? Why do we have to go through all of this all over again? The only thing he's doing is reminding people why they don't like Chris Brown. That's all he's doing. You're just making it to where people are like, who's Chris Brown? Oh, that's Chris Brown. Hum, I don't like him. You know, so you're not selling any albums. I don't know the last movie or thing you've done, you know, and I just feel like, why did you made a documentary? Who really is watching this documentary other than maybe some children? I mean, to me, it's just like Chris Brown, who? Like Chris Brown, he just needs to, he really needs to seek out help. And by putting out that documentary, that's just going to prove that everything all along, he hit Rihanna for no apparent reason. I mean, I don't care how mad. And then he tried to sugarcoat it by saying, well, we always hit each other. And you still think that was right, that you did what you did to this woman? No matter what you say, there is no justifying what you did. You do not ever put your hand on a woman. Rihanna attempted to kick you. She did not kick you. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like he just wants sympathy. Maybe the gag order is up where he can actually talk about it. But why, in my opinion, I don't care to hear about it. Because at the end of the day, we have receipts that you beat this woman. And on top of that... We're, we don't we we don't need you to justify or explain the story. Rihanna came out with her story first, and she said what happened. And now you're coming out with a story, but you're make you're incriminating yourself more. So I just feel that Chris Brown need to sit down somewhere, have several seats, you know, and just chill. Stop like move on. Just like there are some celebrities out there that have done some bad things. <coughs> Mike Vick, you know, <coughs> Mike Vick. You know, that um, they moved on, you know, so and they don't talk about it. So move on. Move on. If they're, the bad things that happen in your life, they happen for a reason. But for Chris Brown, I just feel like the bad things that happen in his life, he's not learning for him from it. So why should we give a dang? I don't care. I really don't. So I wanted to come out with this story because I'm just tired of him doing things and trying to get... Some type of sympathy note. Here's my sympathy note. Okay. Get help. Go to some of them, them, them AA meetings. Oh, wrong meeting. Go to some of them anger management meetings 
and really mean it get yourself some self you need some self-help control your anger because sometimes people who are so angry it's because they don't know how to exp express themselves if you only can express yourself in music then stay your behind in the booth making music do not be in the media do not go on social media do not go to parties stay cooped up in a booth isolate yourself until you get help and that is my best advice that I could give Chris Brown. Get help. You really need help. Um, and as far as his mom, I mean, you can't, you cannot keep justifying what your son did because no matter how, no matter how much you try to cover up the bad, it's still, it's still bad and more ugly that's on top. I mean, it's just to me, no. I feel like this situation right here, it needs. You know, they need to um, really help Chris Brown. Chris Brown needs help. And until he receives the help that he needs, it's going to be, this is going to be the same. Oh, I'm playing my hair, guys. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that's how I feel. I just feel that, you know, his mom and everybody around him, they are, you know, naive. Uh, you know, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to just act like this never happened. And it did happen. And then somebody should have told him, don't do the documentary. <laughs> I would have told, see, celebrities need some people in their corner like me where I could be like, nah, you know, um, that happened eight years ago. Why, why do that? Why put yourself, why, why do that? Why do that? Why do people need to know what happened? No, these people forgot about this. You know, I just see, I just, even still, I still listen to his music. But when he came back out with this this um this entire video or TMZ actually broke it when TMZ came out with the video I was just like you know what I'm not even gonna entertain this but then when TMZ when I started listening to it and I read it on their website I was just like you gotta be kidding me I'm definitely gonna break this because of the simple fact that Chris Brown what what are you thinking like what are you trying to do? Do you have a new album coming out? Are you trying to reinvent yourself? You know, are you trying to rebrand yourself? Are you, what are you trying to do? What was the whole point of people having to hear you say what you did to this, this woman? To me, I feel like it's pointless. It's, to me, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't even... I feel bad for Rihanna out of this whole thing because in the headlines, again... She has to hear about what happened to her eight years ago. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to even continue talking about this. I'm already aggravated about it. That's all I had. I wanted to do was to come to you guys and talk about this video and see what you guys think. Let me know if you like these celebrity news videos because I usually don't put them out because my love bugs don't really gravitate well to these news videos. I don't know if it's because they're old news. Like, look, I can't bring you guys news on the hour every hour no <laughs> i'm playing but i definitely can bring you guys more news videos i already got my backdrop already set up a video will be coming for this sooner than later hopefully soon and um that's pretty much it guys let me know down below in the comments spam the comments and let's get the discussion going so that we could talk about this because I don't feel like domestic violence is ever the solution, okay? You should not, just like we learned in school, keep your hands to yourself, okay? Do not put your hands on other people's children or other people, period. Don't do that. That is not that is not the way to go. And the fact that he tried to justify that, oh, gosh. Let's move on to another video, guys. So, as always, I love you guys. Thank you guys for liking, comment, and subscribing to these videos. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. And as always, I love you guys. Stay safe.